Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing you how to unlock the bootloader on the Moto X. Unlocking your bootloader will allow you to root the device, install custom recoveries, which will then allow you to install ROMs and modifications, etc. on your device. Unfortunately, the only supported devices right now are the Canada Rogers version of the Moto X, uh, in the US Sprint, US Cellular, and T-Mobile, and the Latin American version of the Moto X. Uh, Verizon and AT&T does not have a way to unlock the bootloader yet. It doesn't look like Motorola is gonna release a way to anytime soon, so keep that in mind. So. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is actually set something up in your computer called the SDK tools. I have a link to that in the description of the video. You need to first do that. I have a video showing how to do so. It's pretty easy, so go ahead and follow that first video because you actually have to set up the SDK tools. So watch that video in the description now. Once you've set up the SDK tools on your computer, now we're ready to go. Uh, what you're going to need to do now is go ahead and click on the next link in the description. It's going to actually take you to the Motorola website site. All right, so you will go ahead and go to this site. It lets you know uh, there's four steps involved. Go ahead and scroll down and it says that you're ready to unlock. Make sure you read this. Uh, lets you know what you're getting into. Of course, I'm not responsible to anything that goes wrong with your device or something could go wrong. Uh, as long as you follow my instructions, everything should go right. So go ahead and read this. Scroll down. Keep scrolling down and click proceed anyway. Then it's going to go ahead and ask uh, you to sign in. So go ahead and sign in and make sure that you are signed in. I use my Google Plus account to sign in so they have my email address. But next you will see you need to install the Android SDK. That's number one, which is what I just told you to do. So if you have not done so, follow that video. Next you need to install the drivers. So go ahead and click get them here. Um, it'll take you to this site and just either if you have Windows or Mac, I don't have a Mac so I'm not very familiar with that, but if you have Windows just click download for Windows and get those drivers installed on your computer. Next we are going to need to put our device in fast boot mode, so let me grab my phone. Alright, so to get our device into fast boot mode you actually need to just power it on off, so go ahead and power off your device. All right, once your device is fully powered off to actually get into fast boot mode, what you need to do is go ahead and press and hold the volume down button and the power button at the same time. Go ahead and press and hold both of them at the same time for maybe about three seconds and just go ahead and let go. And then this will take us into fast boot mode. So let me go ahead and zoom in on this and show you guys what I'm talking about. So you will see uh, fast boot flash mode up at the top. So there we go, we are now in fast boot mode, ready to go. So if for whatever reason you need to get back into fast boot mode, that's how you do so, volume down, power button at the same time. So what we can do now is actually go ahead and grab our uh, US micro USB cable and plug our device into our computer. So just plug it on in while it's in fast boot mode. Then once you plug it in, you can go to your PC. All right, and once we're back to our computer, after you plug the device in in fast boot mode, we need to go ahead and go into that Android SDK folder that we have just installed. Uh, once you're in that folder, you need to go ahead and hold the shift key on your keyboard and right click in the folder and you'll see open command window here. Click on that. It'll go ahead and open up a command prompt for us. What this command prompt is going to do is allow us to get an unlock code that you do need to go ahead and unlock your device. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is you'll see um, on the site it tells you what you need to type in on that website. I'm going to go ahead and show you. Just type in fastboot space oem space get underscore unlock underscore data and press enter. It's going to go ahead and give you a string of numbers and letters. Uh, this is good. This shows us that our device was recognized. If your device wasn't recognized, go ahead and try and reboot your PC. Try a different USB port. Try a different micro USB cable as well. Try and reinstall the drivers as well on your computer. Okay, and now that we have these uh, numbers and letters, we need to go ahead and copy them actually. So. Uh, I'm going to blur out them just for any safety reasons that I need to, but right click up at the top of the screen and uh, actually I'll do it over here so it's not blurred out. Right click up at the top, go over edit and hit mark. So go ahead and hit mark. Then what I want you to do is click to the, le the top left of the number in the upper left hand corner and drag down to the bottom right. Uh, of uh, the whole section. So then you have it highlighted. All of the numbers and letters do not highlight bootloader, do not highlight anything else but the numbers and letters in that block. So go ahead and let go and then right click up at the top again. 
Uh, sorry about that. Right click up at the top, highlight edit, and hit copy. So it's going to copy that entire string of numbers and letters. All right, and once you have copied that entire string of text, go ahead and right click under where it says make sure your device is unlockable. Go ahead and right click and paste that entire code into this slot. Now, for me, I don't know if it's gonna be the same for everyone. For me, when I paste it, there are spaces in this text and there should not be. So what you need to do is go ahead and find them. There should be four spaces if yours have, has them and go ahead and just delete them. So just make sure you hit backspace on all the spaces, otherwise this unlock will not work so find all four of the spaces and hit backspace on all of them and uh, otherwise it's not going to work once you have gotten rid of all of the spaces go ahead and hit can my device be unlocked it'll go ahead and verify eligibility and now uh, all you have to do is go ahead and scroll down read the legal agreement and the warning uh, I agree to be bound by the terms of the legal agreement go ahead and check yes and request your unlock key uh, what it's going to do is email you your unlock key and in, into whatever email account you signed in with so I'm going to click request unlock key up at the top of the screen it says this will void your warranty are you sure so again make sure that you're sure you want to you don't mind voiding your warranty on your Moto X go ahead and hit okay and uh, it's going to go ahead and send that unlock key to your email address all right so it takes us to this screen it says you should have received an email with your unlock key here is what that email is going to look like you'll see unlock code um, I believe you can just copy it right now you might have to come back to it so leave it open but for now copy that uh, unlock code into your clipboard then go ahead and go back to those instructions that we need so now our device should still be in fast boot mode plugged into the PC I believe so you shouldn't have messed with that at all so what we're ready to do now is go ahead and scroll down and and we're going to need to open up that command prompt once more. So I'm going to go back to that Android SDK uh, folder once again. Or you can go back to the same one you had open. I closed out of it. Hold shift, right click, open command window here. And we have our command window opened up uh, once again. So now we're going to want to verify that uh, our PC recognizes the device. So just go ahead and type fast boot devices and press enter. It'll, you'll see some, uh, some letters and numbers. Now what's next after that is go ahead and type fastboot space OEM space unlock space and then we need to go ahead and paste in that key that we copied in our email. So up at the top right click, highlight edit and hit paste. It's going to paste in that unique unlock key that uh, they sent to you via your email. Now uh, I'm going to show, hold my device up there, I'm going to press enter, it'll go ahead and load up and it'll probably unlock, uh, bring up an unlock bootloader screen on my device itself so um, let it go ahead and run through uh, the process all right so it's set unlocked on the screen for a while um, for some reason it says failed it says warning bootloader unlock your devices bootloader has been unlocked so it says failed on here but I don't think it failed I'm pretty positive it unlocked um, it says after the device is unlocked it will reboot and when it starts again you'll see a different screen so looks like my device is going to reboot and then I'm going to go ahead and see another boot lock, bootloader screen unlock so uh, it says failed here but I do not believe it failed so don't be too worried it says unlock completed though so we'll see I'm going to let it boot up and I'll be right back alright so you'll see it's preparing my device I do believe it wiped everything. If it does, I'll make a huge annotation at the beginning of the video letting everyone know that uh, your device is going to be wiped. So it's preparing it. Um, like I said, the bootloader should have been unlocked. It says congratulations, you've unlocked your device. So even though it did say fail in there, that warning screen said warning your bootloader has been unlocked. So yes, it looks like things have gone as planned. All right, there we go. So now we have the welcome screen. Looks like we don't need our PC anymore. You can go ahead and unplug it. You do not need it at all anymore. So that is some good news. All right, so my phone's fully booted up. It's going through the process. Everything did get wiped. Uh, so again, you'll know this at the beginning of the video. I'll make a huge annotation. But you want to check and make sure the bootloader's unlocked. So to do so, go ahead and just power off the device. I'm going to power it down. All right, and once it's fully powered down, get back into fast boot mode. Press and hold volume down and the power button at the same time and let go. And then it should take us to the fast boot flash mode. Now up at the top, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Device is unlocked before it did say locked. So now our bootloader is unlocked. So good work. 
Hopefully you followed this correctly. Uh, your device is unlocked, so now you can go ahead and install a custom recovery if uh, that is available. I will be doing videos on how to do so, so please subscribe to me. I'd really appreciate it. I'll also link to those other videos in the description, so just read the description and you will be good to go. So um, I'm gonna actually go ahead and check and see if there's a, an unlock ID. So this comes up every time you boot up. Warning, bootloader unlocked. So uh, that's kind of interesting that that uh, actually comes up. So Motorola is really saying, oh, your warranty's void. Uh, but anyways, that's about it. Hopefully this video has helped you out. Uh, let me know if it did. Please leave a comment. Also subscribe to me. As I said, I'd really appreciate it. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.